Hi everybody, this is Barrett Matthews of EDE Systems. And I'm here today to give you some tips on networking. I'm always asked by people who are starting a business, what do I do as far as getting things going for networking? They wanna know how to talk to people, how to promote themselves, how to get other people to wanna to talk to them. Well, I wanted to talk to you about that. I wanted to make sure that you feel comfortable in talking to people. You see, one of the first things you need to do is get a little confidence. You need to say, I'm going to step out and do something. So the first thing to help you get that confidence is to find an event to attend. You can go to meetup.com. You can go to Google. You can just go to different community colleges and look on, look on the boards and see different events that you can attend where you can go and there are going to be people there. There are going to be other business people there. There are going to be entrepreneurs there that are looking for the same thing you're looking for or who may need your service in particular. So you want to go to these events. You want to find them and go to these events and start striking up a conversation with people. Now, I know, I know some of you may be nervous about that and we'll address that as well. But you, you want to go to these events. Now, sometimes I say you can go what I call local. Go to the people that you normally do business with. Well, what do I mean by that? Well, if you go to the barber shop, the hair salon, these are people that see you on a regular basis. They see you on a regular basis and guess what? You spend money with them. It could be your mechanic. It could be someone at your church. It could be some places that you frequent, that you go to all the time where these people see you. They know you by name or they know your face because they see you a lot. The dry cleaners, it could be the laundromat. It could be anywhere, but you need to get out there and talk to these people and let them know about your business. You'd be surprised at the how many people may have been looking for just what you're offering, but you won't know that unless you get out there. Now, then there's the three-foot rule. I'm sure many of you out there have heard of the three-foot rule if you're in business because that's a very, very popular term and a lot of businesses use this. And guess what? It works. It works. Now, the three-foot rule works like this. It's very simple. You ready? Ready to write this down? Anyone within three feet of you, talk to them. Tell them about what you do. Talk about your business. You'd be surprised at the how many people as to how many people will talk to you and be willing to learn from you if you just open your mouth and talk to them. And that leads me to the next one. Open your mouth. People talk with their mouths. Yes, you see, I'm talking with my hands too, but I talk with my mouth as well. Because what you're gonna need to do is let people know what you do. Now, that, that scares a lot of people because opening your mouth involves developing a strong 30 second infomercial or 30 second advertisement about you and what you do. It has to be concise. It has to get their attention and it has to make them want more from you. Does that make sense? Because what you want to do is introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Barrett Matthews. I have a company called E2E Systems. What we do is we help people move from employee to entrepreneur. Our motto is to move you from working for a living to living your dreams. And I'm sure you probably have some dreams that you've wanted to work on and we can help you with that. What dreams are you working on? Now, you see what I just did? I was clear and concise about who I am, who my company is, what we do, and I ended it with a question to make them answer me. So now I have a conversation going about what I do. Now you can try different approaches. You don't have to end it with a question. But what I did is I want to get something out of them. So I made sure I ended it that way so that they can, they can come back with an answer and we can have a dialogue. That's just my, what I do. You can try something totally different as long, as long as you feel comfortable. Now here's one. When you're, when you're networking with people, you can try this method. It's called extending your hand. You see, when someone extends your hand to shake your hand, you know, just greeting you, you automatically extend your hand too. Well, if you're going to extend your hand to shake someone's hand, someone's going to talk. If you don't talk first, they'll talk first. They'll just say hello. If they say hello, you say hello, you strike up a conversation. You may want to do it first since you feel comfortable that they grabbed your hand. You can do that because once people have connected and touched, all of a sudden now some walls have come down. All of a sudden now, they feel a little bit more comfortable talking to one another and they can engage in a dialogue that is not, I don't know, contained and not rigid. You can feel a lot, lot smoother in transitioning into a conversation with someone about your business and about their business. Now, another method that someone uh, taught me recently was called the kind gesture. You walk up to someone 
And you say, hold on, let me get that for you. It's on your shoulder there. Let me get that off you. Okay, I got it. Okay. Well, guess what? When you do that to someone, what's the first thing they're going to say? Oh, thank you very much. I appreciate that. Now you got a conversation going. How simple is that? Yeah, you like that, don't you? Yeah, <laughs> that's a real clever one. I like that one. You can just start talking, having a conversation that way with someone. And they're interested in talking to you. Why? Because you did something kind for them. Now, one thing you need to do when you're networking with people, you need to start asking questions. Don't just do the verbal vomiting of telling people what you do. Ask them what they do. Ask them about themselves, their family. Look for things. They, if you're in someone's office, you may see pictures of their family or, you know, or hobbies that they like. They may be wearing something that shows something that they, that they like to do or something. They may have a necktie with golf all on it. You may want to talk to them about golf. You may want to find out something about, you may find someone, a, a lady. She may be very fashionable. Ask them where she gets her clothes. The thing is, you want to make sure that you engage in a dialogue asking about them. Once you start asking about them, what's the, what's the next thing they're going to do? Of course, they're going to ask about you. So you need to make sure that you start making, making them know that you care about them before you start just blabbing about what you do, because then it'll come back to you. Now, another thing, while you're asking about them, feel free to compliment them. That's right. Compliment them. Now, I would like for you to, to compliment them with sincerity, to actually say something that you do like about them instead of complimenting them just because you want to get a sale or you want to get them as a prospect. You should do it out of sincerity. Because people can see when you're not sincere, they can feel it, they can hear it, and they know it, and they will basically react to the fact that you're not sincere about it. Now, these next two things I'm going to tell you are very important. Very, very important. One is you need to get their information. Before this networking engagement ends, you need to have their information. A lot of people, a whole lot of people, and I'm going to tell you this one thing. Business cards. <laughs> You're not going to like this. I'm going to tell you. Business cards are a crutch. A lot of people have business cards and they, they say, oh, I got to have business cards. I can't talk to people unless I have business cards. Business cards are a crutch. I can talk to 10 people right now and not have a single business card and get their information and get them interested in what I'm doing. Why? Because I don't rely on that business card to hold me up or to support me. That business card is just an addition to what I do in my marketing with people. It has no weight in what I say to people and, and, or how I'm going to get contacts. Because that business card is not you. The business card is just that. It's just a card. How many times have you talked to someone who really you didn't want to talk to and you said, oh, do you have a card? Yeah, because you wanted to get rid of them. So don't worry about having a business card. It doesn't mean as much as you may think it means. What you want to do is engage them in conversation, get them interested. If I get you interested and you really want to talk to me some more, and I say, hey, let me get your number. You'll give me your number, whether you have a card or not. And if I say, and they say, hey, do you have a card? I say, you know what? I mean, I don't have a card on me because I put everything in my phone. Let me just give you my number and I'll put it in your phone. Or as a matter of fact, I'll call you right now. See, here's what I just did. By you calling them right now, you also verified that that number was good. Hmm? Because a lot of times people will try to give you a fake number. This way you can verify that that number is good. You call them. They now have your number in their phone. How's that? How do you like that one? Yeah, it works for you, doesn't it? Well, here's the last thing I want to give you out of these 10 tips on networking. Set up another meeting. You're at a networking function. You're at a store. You're somewhere else out in public. Networking. That's not a place you want to do business. Well, what you want to do is set up another meeting before before you leave them. Don't leave it up to chance of you calling them, trying to reach them, them trying to reach you. You plan phone tag for weeks and weeks and weeks trying to get each other. You're right there in front of them. Why not set up a meeting? Say, hey, you know what? Before I go, why don't we set up a time where we can get together so that way we can minimize things right now. I have my calendar on my phone, just like most people do now. And say, so let, me, let me see. Are you available to meet around lunchtime Wednesday? Or how about we meet right after work on Thursday? We can sit down, have a bite to eat, and talk about some business, and we can get some things done, and that way we can have a good meal at the same time. My treat. Yeah, my treat. It helps, too. You can do that as well if you want to. But the thing is, by you setting up another meeting with them, 
you can get things done a lot quicker and you know if that person is really serious about doing business with you. Well, those are the 10 networking tips I have for you today. Stay tuned. I'll be coming back with some more. I'm Barrett Matthews from E2E Systems, and I want you all to take action.